Hello everybody, in this video we will speak uh, how to terminate the therapy. First of all, we should explain the difference between the course of the therapy in the classical medicine and in batch flower therapy. In classical medicine, uh, the problem is usually chronic and the patient needs continuous therapy. And uh, he often needs higher and higher doses of the medication and interruption is not recommended because, because it can worsen the disease. On the other hand, in batch flower therapy, there is a pattern start and stop. So it's only temporary. So the patient starts with the therapy, then he feels better, so he can stop it. And maybe after some time, he may need another therapy, so he needs another restart of the therapy. And the difference is that usually the intervals between the therapy, between the uh, therapies is longer and longer and uh, the necessary therapy is shorter. And interruption of the therapy is expected. And there are uh, certain signs that uh, show that the therapy can be freely interrupted. For example, there are no actual problems or only minor problems. Some patients come and come and they always bring some everyday problems. And But it, the main problem is solved. Or previously punctual, uh, punctual patient forgets to come for a follow-up. It also means that the consultation isn't so important for him. Or the patient does not take the remedy regularly or he even sometimes sometimes forgets or stops completely the therapy and there is no return of complaints. And uh, there may be also an objective sign. Uh, there is a significant amount of the remedy that remains in the bottle. So what to do? The most important thing is to discuss it with the patient. Uh, do not stop the therapy without the permission without the discussion with the patient because it could lead to a relapse of the complaints. You can offer him either to continue without any change with pre-arranged follow-ups or you can continue the therapy without pre-arranged follow-up. Just call me when you need or the therapy can be completely interrupted and the patient can call whenever necessary or just call uh, for a new bottle of the essence if he likes. And it is the most important is uh, to uh, inform the patient, to offer him information about the course of the therapy that it, uh, when he feels now well, it's still possible that his complaints may return in the future. But this, uh, during this return, the therapy will be shorter and faster. So tell him not to forget that the batch fl uh, fl uh, flower therapy has helped him and to restart whenever necessary or when the first signs appear. So, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And in the next video, we will speak about some typical situations where you can use batch flower essences.